Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to um, solve for this 4x minus 5y is greater than equal to 25. And the way that I'm going to show you how to graph this, by uh, solve by graphing, is we're going to find the x and y intercepts. All right. So this is another method. And comparing to, you could still create a table. And you could also still create a, um, put this into slope intercept form to graph it. But what I want to do is show you how to find the x and y intercepts for an equation that maybe they just don't give you and we need to figure them out. So remember the x and y intercepts. The x intercept is when the graph crosses the x axis. And the y intercept is when the graph crosses the y axis. And what's very nice to know about the x and y intercept is when I have a value of where this graph crosses the x axis, my y value for that point is equal to 0. And when I have a point that crosses the y axis, my x value of that point is also equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the x intercept and the y intercept. And what I'm going to do is when I notice that with the x intercept, is when y equals 0. And the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So then, to find each intercept, all I need to do is plug in 0 for the other variable. So when y equals 0, I have 4x minus 5 times 0 is greater than or equal to 25. And for the y-intercept, I have 4 times 0 minus 5y is greater than or equal to 25. Now, I simply just need to solve these. Well, any number multiplied by 0 is just going to be 0. So therefore, I have 4x is greater than or equal to 25. And here I have negative 5y is greater than or equal to 25. So now I solve by dividing by 4. And here, divide by negative 5. All right, so now I'm going to have a fraction, but I'm not going to write it. Oh, I am going to keep it as a fraction. And then to help me graph it, you could use a decimal, or you could use a mixed number to kind of help you find, you know, to estimate where that value is going to be. So it's going to be greater than or equal to 25 over 4. And you could go this as a, you know, as a decimal. Um, but you could also write it as a mixed number, which would be 6 and 1 fourth. Or 6.25. All right, either way, whatever's going to help you kind of graph it, you could just rewrite that to check it out. Now, over here, we're dividing by negative 5. So remember, when we divide by negative 5, those go to 1. We need to make sure we flip the sign. So that's going to be x is now greater or equal to negative 5. However, when solving the x and y intercepts, we're not really going to be concerned um, what the sign is. We're going to show that by using a test point. So I don't even really want to even confuse you so much with that. Because um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a test point to determine where we shade. So anyways, my x-intercept is 6.25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK, so we say the x-intercept's at 6.25. Therefore, I need to go to the right, 6.25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 0.25. And then my y is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, so therefore, my, those are my two intercepts. So therefore, I know that my graph is going to go infinitely to the left and infinitely to the right. And it's going to connect those two points. Now, the last thing we need to be looking at, so there's my graph. Now, I need to determine where is the shading. Well, first of all, actually, before I get to the shading, we want to make sure our boundary line is correct. Since it said it's greater than or equal to, I know that equal, we're going to have a solid line. Now, I just need to do a test point. And the best test point I like to do is test 0, comma, 0. As long as your boundary line does not go through your test point, um, you can use 0, 0 as your test. So I'm going to test 0, 0. If it's true, we're going to shade towards our um, test point because we know all the values above it will be true. If it's false, we need to shade the other way. So test 0, 0, we have 4 times 0 minus 5 times 0 is greater than or equal to 25. Well, this all becomes 0 is greater than or equal to 25. And that is false. So since our test point is false, that means all the values above our line are false. And then all of our points below our boundary line are now going to be true. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an inequality by using the x and y intercepts. Thanks.